we have covered a lot of concepts so far in this series so for today's video i've decided to do something a little bit different so in this video i'm going to help you revise and practice some of the concepts that you've learned so far so let's begin this video is structured in the following manner i will be giving you some tasks and in between these tasks there will be a five second break or a pause for example, I give you a task and the timer will start. You are supposed to pause the video there and go back to your terminal. Once you're done with the task, you can come back to this video to resume watching and move on to the next task. I've deliberately not added the solutions to this video because I want you to struggle and debug it yourself instead of giving up and rushing to the solutions. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. Here's your first task. Create a new repository on GitHub called practice kit. You can make this repository private if you want. Now clone this repository to your local machine. Open this repository in your favorite code editor and create a new file inside of it called readme.md. Inside of this readme file, add hello world. Add the changes that you have made so far and create a commit out of it with a suitable commit message. Now push your main branch to GitHub. Now go back to your terminal and create a new branch called dev and switch to it. Open the readme file, you'll be able to see hello world written inside of it. Replace hello world with hello github. Again, add this change and create a new comment out of it with a suitable comment message. Push your dev branch to github. Now create a pull request to merge your dev branch into your main branch. Now go back to your terminal and switch to the main branch. Again, open the same readme file and replace this hello world with hello YouTube. Now create another comment in your main branch and push this main branch to GitHub. Go back to the pull request that you created previously and you will be able to see a merge conflict. Now resolve this merge conflict by picking both of the changes. Now merge your dev branch into main. Go back to your terminal and switch to main branch. Fetch the latest changes from origin main and merge them into your local main. Now switch to the dev branch. Now sync or reset the history of the dev branch to be the same as the main branch. This I haven't really talked so far, but I leave it to you to figure it out. That's it. I hope you were able to finish these tasks successfully. I'll see you in the next video.